Hello everybody and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be going over the update that we just had. Um, update 8.3.2. Usually, and for those of you who have been subscribed for a while, you guys know I don't make videos on updates. I simply don't care half the time about stuff like RTA. There'll be like, R like you know, monster buffs and all that where it changes like a lot of uh, RTA units, right? Units that are mainly used in RTA. And if it's like that type of update I don't really care to make a video on it um but if it affects all the players as a whole that's kind of when I like get interested into it right so like for the reloaded update the reloaded update affects everybody regardless but um this update does affect everybody even if it's in a small way but um I kind of want to go through some of the things in here so again siege battle I don't care about the um the rewards that you get in Siege Battle have improved, but there are new stuff that they've added. So, by the way, <laughs> this is I want to note this real quick. The skill AI for Siege Battle Arena, Scenario, and Trial of Ascension have been improved to use attack skills more frequently. Interesting. Um, but first thing we're going to go, or the... the Things that we're going to be going over in this video is the scenario completion re rewards and, and show really what has changed. Uh, I guess the monster marking feature and uh, settings improvements. That and the packs. I want to go over the packs because they've added packs for level 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100, whatever, right? So let's go and look at it because I can't sit here. I didn't look at the notice the entire time. So. For those of you who want to be able to uh, look at where you know the rewards are, at the top right of the screen, you'll see a you know a chest that says quest right above it. If you click on it, you're able to see all of the rewards. So let's take a look at it. So they did change some of the rewards that you get as you play the game. For uh, those of you who remember when you're going through normal for the first time, Kabir Ruins, they give you like a three-star blade set or a four-star blade set. Now it is a six-star blade rune set. Which is cool, I guess. <laughs> that would have been helpful <laughs> the first time. But um, they're just making it easier, right? 500,000 mana and one mystical scroll. I believe they increased the amount of mana from, I think it was 100,000 before to 500,000. A six star fatal rune set, which is nice. And uh, a six star energy rune set. Six star rune pick ticket. So I believe they improved it from a five star to a six star, which is nice, I guess. And then uh, a legendary scroll. So if you're ever unsure, by the way, of what the changes actually were, yeah, okay, I was right. So from 100,000 mana to 500,000, three-star magic blade rune set to six-star, again, 500,000 mana, four-star fatal rune set to a six-star, six-star energy rune set from a four-star energy rune set, and it was a five-star uh, five hero rune pick ticket to now a six-star rare rune pick ticket. So, I mean, pretty much the same quality, I guess. Because you're losing the purple runes and now you're getting uh, blue runes. But other than that, nothing else has changed. But the one thing that has changed is that now if you go through the scenarios and you farm, you know, hard mode or hell mode, you can get, you know, all the rewards for it. So, for example, hard mode, it's, you know, clear Garen Force on hard mode and you can get five um, level 15 King Angelmon and a million mana. Mount Siz is two Mystical Scrolls and one million mana. Kabir Ruins is a f two four-star Rainbow Mons and one an XP booster for one day. A six-star Hero Rune ticket or, or six-star Hero Runes. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's a pick ticket. I guess we'll see. We can actually probably clear it right now. We could actually do a run real quick. That'd be funny. <laughs> okay. So it doesn't tell you. Clear Mount White. White Route. Oh my god. I can't speak. Here, we'll just let this run. <laughs> you guys get to see who I'm messing with and building. Building all these units. <laughs> I'm using, I'm building the freaking light penguin for a video. <laughs> I'm trying to use free to play units to make guides. I love making guides using free to play units and not just taking the easy route <laughs> and using like a four or five star that just does the job a thousand times better. Come on. But uh, 
I love that there's the rewards here because I used to always, regardless if they had these rewards, go through these scenarios and just complete it all the way from hard to hell mode because they did give crystals for them, which I, I want to show you what I mean by that. So we sell this, we get six, uh, we get six, six star runes, which let's see if we can collect that. Is it already collected for us? So it should be in our inbox and we, you don't get to choose. Okay. Which I guess is fine, I guess. <laughs> it's nice. I mean, I wish it was a pick ticket, but you just go through all the hard modes and you'll get all these nice rewards. I don't really care about the artifacts. The blue artifact means nothing. You can get a blue artifact on stage three of Steel Fortress. Same thing here. Just six random runes. Two mystical scrolls, 150 energy. Hero type artifact. Now that's better. Um, a Forbidden Evolution Scroll. I guess that's also pretty good. Um, and then 10 Mystical Scrolls at the end when you do Chiruka Remains on Hard Mode. Hell Mode, hopefully the rewards are really good. <laughs> 3 Mystical Scrolls and 150 Energy. 2 5 Star Rainbow Mons, a 3 day XP booster. 3 Engraved Scrolls. 2 Legendary Runes that are 6 star which you don't get to pick. 3 Mystical Scrolls. 1.5 mil mana, two more runes, th three attribute scrolls, a legendary artifact, which is good, a double mon, which is really good, two more legendary runes, a legendary artifact, which is good, super angel mon is always nice, and another devil mon. So all the hell rewards are worth it. Um, the problem is, and I guess it's not really too much of a problem. You just you just you can just go and do it. But for us, for those of us who have already done it <laughs> we have to go back and actually just clear stage seven of all of them so you're gonna have to go back and do like fucking 14 runs but nice rewards i mean these are going to be really nice rewards for new players i mean for new players going through the game i mean you're getting free sets i mean even on normal mode just to go through and get a blade a six star blade set a six star fatal rune set six star energy rune set and then a rare and then a six star rune pick ticket set all these are really nice. <laughs> like, holy crap, man. And it's like the pro. I hope there's some type of compensation for people who had just started. Like, if they just started, like, two days ago, and they got, like, the freaking crappy uh, three-star blade rune set, I hope they're, like, given, like, a six-star <laughs> blade set. I hope they're not just given, like, the same thing. But, by the way, if you do go through all of the scenarios... They give you 30 crystals for completing those things on hell mode. So that's what I was talking about. So I was doing that type of stuff regardless. But, um, yeah. So let's look at the very next thing, which is the settings. Okay, so here we are in the settings. And if you go all the way down to the bottom, you can click on these right here. So push notifications. You can enable push notifications for secret dungeons, dimensional hole, recharged, anything. What is with general? What does general mean? Oh, so general is just all of them, right? Hold up, let me see something. So general, I'm guessing general means all of it or just on chat. Building, so whenever your buildings get full. So if your energy building's full, crystal building's full, XP building is full. So I wouldn't want a notification on that. I don't really care about the mana building. Crystal building and energy building, I would want notifications on. Um, arena defense, I would turn on the, off the notifications for failing a defense. When your tickets are recharged, heck yeah. Rival battle available, sure. Defense successful, sure. Week closing, yeah. World arena starting time, ending time, I do not care. <laughs> um, special league, do not care. Guild, yeah. Um, siege battle, yep. And then monster subjugation, yeah, when it starts and when it ends. So, there's that. And that's essentially it. I mean, I... I, I think the settings are probably the most boring part of this, but but let's take a look real quick at the uh, latest thing. Where is it? Here it is, the level achievement. So if you go to the efficient tab, you get the level achievement reward, which level 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Let's kind of take a look at uh, Ancient Transcendent Scroll. I want to take a look at that in a second. That looks interesting. Let's take a look at the rewards and how much it costs and see if it's even worth it. Um, so for 20 bucks, you can get two LD scrolls, 
20 mystical scrolls, 50 energy, 500 crystals, and 100,000 mana. Um, when I spend money on this game, <laughs> I don't like buying scrolls, right? Because I feel like you can get, like, f for me, my luck is awful. I can get, like, 100 LD scrolls, and all the LDs I summon would be U LDs that I already have. So it's like, I don't like the luck-based purchase. If I, if I purchase something, I want it to mean something regardless. So I really look at, like, the crystals and all that, but it's not a bad purchase at all. I mean, when you look at, where is it, like, how much an LD scroll costs already... For twenty nine ninety nine, <laughs> it's not even a full. You get like what is that? Like one LD scroll, if I recall. One LD scroll, one and a half LD scrolls, or something like that. Not even. But so it's like I guess it's a good purchase if you want an LD pack. But like there's so many better things to buy. But it I don't know. It's not bad. <laughs> Level seventy, two more again twenty bucks. But instead of 20 mystical scrolls, you get one Devilmon. I like Devilmons. Um, so this, I feel like this pack is better than this pack. Just because it's a Devilmon and not mystical scrolls. If they could have made this two Devilmon or something like that, I would have been more okay with it. But it's, again, it's not bad. I don't want to shit on the pack. But <laughs> So this is 30 bucks. 30 bucks for hitting level 80. You get 30 mystical scrolls, two LDs. One legendary all attribute, 100 energy, 750 crystals, and 300k mana. This is probably way more worth it. So instead of buying like the six, level 60 and 70 pack, I just go for level 80 because the legendary all attribute and plus 250 more uh, crystals. Level 90 is now, again, instead of the mystical scrolls, now it's two Devilmon. I'd purchase this, I'd purchase that one over this one so the level 70 pack is better the level 90 pack is better level 100 four lds 10 reaps one splendid blessing of summon 2500 crystals and the ancient transcendence question what is an ancient transcendence scroll it's a very special scroll that summons the the default five star fire water wind monster you don't possess Collab monster, fusion monsters, ifrits, and other monsters that can be acquired by purchasing so many pieces at the shop won't be summoned. So, that's... I mean... So, it, you're guaranteed to summon a nat 5 you don't own. How do I check the monster that I don't own at the moment? What? How do I check the monster that I don't own? Okay. If I unsummoned a monster in the past, can I summon that monster with a scroll? The acquisition will be determined based off the activation status in your monster collection menu. Since the unsummoned monster counts as activated in the collection, the unsummoned monster will not be summoned again. So, essentially, this is the scroll that guarantees a new Nat 5. For 100 bucks? <laughs> I, dude, I, okay. I, I'm gonna say yes, it's worth it. <laughs> it's worth it, like, not as a new player. As a new player, like, you get that Ancient Transcendence and then you hold on to that sucker, right? Because you're going to be summoning tons of Nat 5s. You want to wait till... Like, if you're a person who's been playing for, for years, you're going to want to get that scroll. Because <laughs> you're going to be like, I don't have Sierra, I don't have Leo, I don't have freaking Ganymede, I don't have any of those units. You can probably get them through that scroll. Plus a Spirit of Blessing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Plus 4 LDs, 2,500 Crystals. If you have the 100 bucks to spend on it, yeah, go ahead, spend it. <laughs> but I, I, I'm not going to buy it. I, I don't like buying scrolls. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to make this short video on the thing. I really, my again, my favorite part of the, about this update is this. All the rewards. I mean, things are changing. <laughs> How about this? Instead On normal mode, instead of giving this us the Elven Ranger, give us someone different. <laughs> I don't know. The Elven Ranger doesn't really do anything for any for any of us. But uh thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.